Good morning, Vanderbilt. Welcome to Morning View. I'm Sam Malik. And I'm Carly Vaughn. And this is February 16th. So thank you for joining us this morning. It's, uh, it's, it's a it's different, different weather than we've been yeah, having lately. It's very pretty outside, actually. I, I, think, I think our cold spell might be over. I hope so. I was, uh, this morning I was like, God, I really want it to be spring. And then yeah. I walked outside and it was like, kind of is spring. What mm -hmm. is that? Did, did the groundhog see a shadow? I have, I don't I think I looked it up, but I forgot. Okay. I don't think it really matters. No, the groundhog doesn't know. Uh, there's, there's no <laughs> there's like science <laughs> behind that yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> Definitely not. Although, although we did get a great Bill Murray movie out of it. I love that movie. I've, One of my, I've seen it so many times. I wanted to watch it because. on Groundhog Day. <gasps> that would be fun. But I couldn't. Yeah. I didn't have time. What is Groundhog What day is Groundhog February 2nd? So it was a while ago. Okay. But it was like, like we had spring. We were like, oh, it like, doesn't matter what the groundhog says. Spring's yeah, already here. Was like and then it got freezing. The groundhog yeah. was like, I'll show you. I'll make it winter again. So <laughs> so, so not only is he a magical, uh, like, future-seeing psychic yeah. groundhog, but he's also a witch. Yeah, he's, he's vindictive. And, he, and he's a vindictive witch. Don't make the groundhog <laughs> mad, Vanderbilt. Uh, Don't make him mad. Yeah, he'll, he'll spite you. Yes. Okay, yeah. I wish that was true. That'd be so cool. Yes. <laughs> but speaking of things that are going on, seeing, seeing the future, I'm trying to make this transition work. Uh, seeing <laughs> things that are going on in, in the, the world. Um, okay, so yeah. <laughs> Headlines. Headlines. There we go. There I'm go. tired. I'm really tired. Uh, okay, so a crowd of students, professors, and interested members of the Nashville community gathered in the Student Life Center to watch representatives from eight different religious backgrounds discuss their beliefs or lack of them at the Vanderbilt Interfaith Council's annual panel discussion on Monday night. The conversation centered around the question, how much is too much, as it related to proselytizing and the infamous caring for the lost at Vanderbilt video from last September, which provoked widespread criticism and satire from its images of evangelical Christians condemning party and Vanderbilt students. Okay, <laughs> the mic is muted right now. So, so just give us one second. Oh. We're okay, good. we're good we're now. Good. Okay. Okay. okay, that was going the blooper reel. Uh, okay, no, we, we we were having some issues with the, the okay. screen, okay. so My I was apologies. trying to fix that. Uh, so no, I'm sorry, but anyway, um, yeah, actually, I'm. Uh, I have to go to the financial aid office today mm -hmm. to try and figure out what I need to do to get housing on campus for the summer and. Um, and also see about maybe taking a couple classes at not the crazy amount of money that it is because it's like ten thousand dollars. So um, I have to go there today and kind of try to figure that out because I have a sum summer internship. So very cool. Yeah, nice. very excited. In that, that. internship in Nashville? Yes, um, it's I, I will be tutoring high school students and helping them with the ACT and SAT. So that'll be fun. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Good way to give back to the the Nashville community. 
Yeah, I just got to make some contacts and mm -hmm. with some teachers and stuff. So. I know, and, and it's you, you wouldn't think it, but you really have to get those internships a lot, a lot earlier than, you know, spring break. And oh, yeah. No, I, I applied for this in, um, in January, so. But anyway, um, well. Yeah. So I guess uh, let's take a look at what's going on in the yes. world outside of Danville. Yes, definitely. Well, Twitter has admitted to copying entire address books from smartphones and storing the data on its servers, often without customers' knowledge. Access to the address book is enabled when users click on the Find Friends feature on smartphone apps. Two U.S. congressmen have written to Apple asking why the firm allows the practice on its iPhone as it contains app developers' guidelines. Twitter has said it will update its privacy policy to be more explicit. Kellogg has agreed to buy Pringles from Procter & Gamble for $2.7 billion. Procter & Gamble was planning to sell the business to Diamond Foods, but that deal collapsed after delays caused by problems with Diamond's accounts. Kellogg, best known for its breakfast cereal, says, it will make, uh, says this deal will make it the second biggest player in the global snack business. Pringles are sold in more than 140 countries and gener generate generate annual sales of about $1.5 billion. All right, well, uh, <laughs> Kellogg is buying Pringles. That's, ex that's exciting. And, and what they see, the, the Twitter thing, they said they're going to like update their privacy policy, mm -hmm. but they didn't say they're going to stop taking address books. Mm. I, I, don't know, I don't know if they're going to stop, but... Well, it's unsettling. I mean, like. you, I mean, you'd hope they'd stop. You, hope you, would, you would hope. Yeah, but you don't, you don't know for sure. I know, I know. <laughs> Twitter... I've, I've, Twitter. I'm starting to give in on the Twitter. Do you tweet? I don't tweet, but I read lots of tweets. Mm, that's that's where I am right now. I actually now. follow um, I follow like really crude tweets, and but they're like really funny. I follow men's humor, which is hilarious. But I'm a girl, so it's a little Great. strange. But yeah. well, um, everyone knows that this past Tuesday was Valentine's Day. That's right. But did you know? that it was the Toy Industry Association's 109th annual Toy Fair held in New York City. And uh, from the 10th through the 14th, exhibitors showed off the newest, hottest toys, some that haven't even hit the market yet. Some of the highlights were a stuffed dog in the likeness of the Internet's cutest dog, Boo. If we get a picture of that. That's the real dog, okay? So that's super adorable, right? It's crazy cute. But then if we go to the next one, that's the stuffed animal, which it's creepy similar. Like, I think that shows how much the dog looks like a teddy bear. But um, also, a new Barbie was unveiled. Um, Barbie photo fashion looks like a regular Barbie, except for the, scr the telltale screen in her chest and the lens sticking out of her back, because this Barbie is actually a digital camera. Uh, that, that pink cord is the USB cord that connects the Barbie to the computer so that you can, you know, Plug her in, get your pictures off there? I really don't know. And what you've always dreamed of having, this last picture, is a giant crayon or pencil that has magnets on it so you can stick it through stuff and make it look like it's sticking out. And I mean, this would be a lot cooler if I was a child, but we all know it's a magnet. Come on, who, you don't, you're not fooling anyone. But <laughs> So there, there's a camera in Barbie now. Yes, she's like a cyborg. That's, that's like bordering on creepy. I agree. A little bit. I agree. I mean, and like the, they ha they have like these um, like little borders that take with them. You can take it. Mm -hmm. like cupcakes and stars and hmm. I don't know. It's just Although I, I guess they, they have been putting cameras in like Toys for All. Have you heard about those like like the teddy bears with like the camera in it? It's so like the parent can watch the child. Okay, now that is creepy. I feel like I feel like this is just to get girls interested in photography, which okay. you know if that's the way you have to do it, yeah. that's the way you have to do it. Yeah. But I think I definitely think there's a better way. But I think. <laughs> I think this might be the first step in like getting to that better way. Yeah, yeah. We need we need like a giant like crayon like sticking through our, our window back there. See, I think like that would be kind of cool, except yeah. that it's not magical unless you're like a toddler. Yeah. Because we all know. We all know. Right. We we know it's not a real crayon. But I wish I kind of didn't know that. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> we. I think we just ruined John's idea of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Speaking of, of disappointing people, let's talk about Vanderbilt basketball. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Vanderbilt, as most of you know, the Kentucky game was this weekend. Unfortunately, the Doors didn't play to their potential in the first half, which left us with a lot of ground to make up in the second. A rally, however, brought us back in the running. Unfortunately, it was not enough to beat to best UK. They are still ranked number one with only one loss this season, 
In the end, it was a good showing from Vanderbilt. Hopefully we'll see more play like we did in the second half the rest of this season. And with a little luck, we might even get ranked. But, you know, it's kind of asking for a lot. Yeah. I've, I've come to, to keep my Vandy sports expectations pretty low. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> um. I just, I just see that audition tape. I know it's coming. Oh. I know. Oh. I know it's coming. I just, I can't, I can't think about anything else. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, guys. Um, oh no. <laughs> we, we have some, in, instead of an interview today. Are, are you, are you good to show this? We, we I'm fine. Show. It's fine. It's really funny. Like I understand. Like I. Okay. It's okay. We have, we have Carly Vaughn's audition tape. Oh, um, so, so instead of an interview, you're going to get to see the, the tape, the reel that uh, won her this job. So. And let me just preface this people that I've told about this okay here it is this is really funny and um, also I was really nervous oh so. no it's, <laughs> I, I remember my audition I, I don't think I've ever been more nervous than than I have and, and they're like okay you're gonna banter with John now I'm like oh god what, what is banter what do I say I, don't I, know mean, how to do I mean it turned out okay I guess but let's yeah. just no more prefacing yeah, let's she's, just she's confident so oh jeez. all right let's let's roll the clip Hello Vanderbilt, it is I, John Rice, and I'm here with Carly Vaughn. That's right, we're here to bring you a special evening edition of The Morning View. So, excited to be here, despite the cold that you had to come walking Yes, through. it was worth the trek. Uh, it was at Green, so not too far, but it was it was very chilly, very chilly. Very chilly, okay, well, uh, Green's then, huh? Uh, yeah, trying out the whole vegan lifestyle for a little while. I do. I'm trying, it's not, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, well, I really wanted to eat some beef jerky earlier today. <laughs> that does not fit in with vegan lifestyle, so. <laughs> not quite, no, yeah. No. But uh, it's, it's going well so far, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, okay, wait, so how long have you been doing the vegan thing? Um, about two weeks. About two weeks. So it's, okay. I don't really think I can even count it yet. It's. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you're starting out. You yeah. Know, like the minute I started taking martial arts, I was like, dude, I'm so totally taking jujitsu. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah, so, so I mean, I'm just like, I'm so vegan now, and so vegan. I, I, I put on my vegan face, and I just like walk around like I'm on top of the world, you know? A little bit better than everyone. Yeah, right? exactly, because yeah, I don't eat meat now, so. Meat or, I don't know. what else do, do vegans not eat? It's like dairy, right? Yeah, or? we don't eat dairy, um, any, anything that has come from an animal. Anything that's come from an animal? Anything, so no cheese. It's hardcore. No, cheese doesn't have dairy in it. I don't know what I'm talking cheese about. Cheese is dairy. Isn't it, it is, dairy? Yeah. I, it might be dairy. It's right? hardcore dairy. Yeah. Okay. It's like totally dairy. It's totally dairy? Yeah. I don't know what cheese is made of. <laughs> so does this, does this extend to like fake cheese? Like if you wanted to get some Ritz Bits, would you not eat the Ritz Bits? I don't like those anyway. Oh, wow. Come on, fake cheese? Fake cheese? Fake, fake cheese is not, that's not real food. No. That's so good. Ritz <laughs> Bits. <laughs> so good. Cheese Its maybe? Cheese Its? You, you, you do with Cheese Its? Okay. No. No. No, you wouldn't do Cheese Its. No, Cheese Its. No. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> So how you, no, no judging, judging the different food choices here. <laughs> this is like my diet we're talking about. Beef uh, jerky, uh, cheeses, and cheese. And just cheese in general? I guess I'm the anti vegan I don't know. It happens. Yeah. Hey, not all of us can be vegan like me. Sure, sure. sure. <laughs> Some of us have to be like me, which is unfortunate for those who are. Yeah. Yeah, just put up with it, you know. My life is a sad sale. Anyway. <laughs> so that's old news. What new news do we have? Okay. As you, can, as you can see, she was just as confident and poised then as ever. Uh, so, so yeah, the, the confidence is, is amazing. But guys, the, the big... <laughs> Thank you for putting a good face on that. Okay. The big, the big, the big secret, it's all based on a lie. The whole the, thing. The entire thing. I'm not a vegan. I don't know what was going through my head. Although, okay, John, John asked you, because you said you had been to Greens, and he asked you. And the first rule, if, if you do like stand up, like improv it's comedy, yes. yes and. So you, right. you know, you but said I yes. But I got and really invested. You, you sold the lie, I, I believed it. Like I was, I was like, oh, I'm so vegan now. What is that? What, <laughs> who am I? I don't even know, oh my God. <laughs> but but as as a gift for you because you are not a vegan. I'm not a vegan. Oh, we have cheese and these are mine, and I will eat them now. Yes. Actually, <laughs> yeah. And I want to apologize to John for making him feel bad about eating cheese its and eating meat because I think it was actually pretty Maybe condescending. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was pretty condescending about the whole meat thing. So. Yeah. So I apologize. You and didn't mean it. I apologize to all the real vegans out there because it's actually really hard. Mm -hmm. Not that I would know, because I've never tried it, but I don't want to. Maybe you should. You should like try it for like two weeks, just to. No, 
I won't. That won't happen. I, I, I don't think I could do it. I really couldn't. I like, I like bacon. I mean, where, I like where would you eat the sides greens? Um, I mean, like, they have like, they have like the, veg around. the vegetarian like stuff at Commons, but I don't know. I bet, I bet it's good for you from like a, like a health standpoint, because you, it, it makes you like rethink what you're going to eat, right? So it's like, oh, I'm going to have some cheeses. I'm craving some cheeses. And you think, well, oh, those aren't, those aren't vegan. It has 280 calories per package. Wow. So, so that like not, one little good for you. square that I ate was like 20 calories. Yeah. <laughs> totally worth it. There you go. Yes. Well, we, we, we showed my audition tape. It finally happened. Mm -hmm. We knew it was going to happen. It's out there. It's out there. Fortunately, mine is lost, as, is, as, as are all the other ones. We, we don't know. So only me. Only I get to be embarrassed. <laughs> but, we'll, um, we'll keep future I'm, audition tapes. Seriously, I think this might be the most watched episode ever, because I'm going to tell everybody you need uh, to watch it, because I <laughs> make a fool of myself. But it's OK. It's OK. It is OK. It is okay. She, she's a confident <laughs> fool. <laughs> I was very confident. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, the weather outside. We should probably talk about that. We should. We should. We talked about it earlier, but... We did. Oh, I'm doing the weather. Okay. It's a high of 58 and a low of 38 degrees. Um, it's, it's actually... It looks really nice. Nicer than you would think if it's 58. Yeah. Actually, 58 is pretty high. Yeah. It's... I mean, you, you don't think about it as being like a warm, but compared to what we've had. Yeah, compared to... It's not bad. How cold was it earlier this week? Like 30s? Yeah, 30s, 40s. I mean, we got like some, not snow, but like snow-like... Yeah, that was. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is nice. You should go outside mm -hmm. and like hang out outside. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, well, I guess that's it. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Vanderbilt. Make sure to tune in next week, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, 8.30 a.m., just like always. We will see you there.